Dylan Lighty, the senior, going up against Joey Gunther, the senior. Lighty having one great year, 27 and one, ranked number go, four in Flo's wrestling rankings. Well, Tim, these guys are both studs, two of the best wrestlers on each team, but I, I don't anticipate a lot of scoring. It's good to see Gunther come out underhooking and pushing here. That's good to see. But both these guys are really hard to score on, and neither takes many risks. A lot of hard hand fighting here. Yes. Joey Gunther out of Libertyville, Liberty High School. Coached by my friend Dale Eggert, who's won over 500 matches as a coach. Holy smokes. That's, that's a long career. 500 wins. Not many high school coaches are willing to stick around that light to grind. You're, you're contributing so much of your life to your athletes, and you know, you're know you spreading that between the team and the family. Dylan Lighty out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Ben Davis High School was a state champion. Kinesiology major. Redshirt senior. Got the round of 12 as an NCAA qualifier, but has not been on the podium. And this is the year. He has 27 and 1. He's ranked number four. Well, this is an important test for him. Gunther's hard to score on. He's, you know, he's ranked top 25 in the country. He's solid. He's transferred from Iowa, who's, you know, become one of the state, you know, st team, part of Illinois' team that's a leader. Now, that being said, the Bronicles are the, the future leaders and current leaders of Illinois. They're the team Backing captains as redshirt freshmen and just doing a great job. Good job. Backing him up. Dylan, a fifth-year senior. Had a 5-2 decision over Nebraska's Mikey Labriola last Friday. That's a level one win right there. Labriola up in the top six or seven ranked as well, having a good year himself. Hey, get down, get down, come on. So somebody's got to make a Hello. commitment to controlling a tie and dominating a position. Hello. Right now, there's a lot of hand fighting going on, but not, not any meaningful controlling of ties. Nobody's grabbed anything really tight. They're just snapping and pushing and shoving. Now, I, I, I've seen a couple half shots, but nobody's made a commitment to a control tie or a shot. So you hear in the background, the Illini coaches say, don't slow down now. Because Gunther came out pretty strong like they coached him to do, but he, he's slowed it up a little bit here in the past minute. Head below his, head low, close the gap. See the Illinois coaches in the background picking their moments, what to say. We talked about this earlier, Tim. What a, what a great coaching staff they've assembled. Nobody's, Short time, yes, in the first shooting. period. So neither one of these guys has that quick open shot. They're just, they're both really good position, good hand fighters, good counter offense. So Dylan Lighty will get the choice, and he chooses down to begin the second period, 0-0. Zero, zero. Not an unfamiliar place for Joy Gunther, who has... Uh, had a history of not pulling the trigger very often, but this year he has pulled the trigger a few times and we go, that's what you have, well, you know? He's, he's made a step this year. He's definitely improved in his aggressiveness and coach recognized that yesterday when we spoke to him. And this is a tough one to pull the trigger on, right? Because Lighty's one of the most counter-attack orientated guys in the way he's hard to score on. So Gunther's, as I expected, this this match about going like I thought. Now let's see if Lighty will open up here in the second period. If Dylan Lighty's gonna make the move into really being a, a, an All-American, as, as you said, he was round of 12 last year, now he's ranked fourth. He's gonna have to be able to get his offense going Again, in close, hard-fought matches where his opponent will not open up. Lighty's wanting to shoot, but Gunther's a solid. He's blocking the collar, staying action, tough. Gentlemen, action. Now you see the Purdue coaches looking on. They're, they're not really urging him to do much, though. I like the faking. I think the faking is really good. Neither one of them is bothered to control an underhook or two on one in the past couple minutes. Both these guys are hard nosed. They don't make many mistakes. That's for sure. <laughs> Coach Jim Heffernan looking on, probably a kind of a normal kind of uh, 
look on his face when Gunther's wrestling because <laughs> it's going to be close, side. but uh, it's not like there's going to be a lot of scrambles. And right now, true to form, 1-0, Dylan Lighty out in front. He got the escape in the second period. Gunther will have the same opportunity if nothing changes here going into the third period. Gunther's brother is a recruit, Michael. He's a red shirt. He's as a freshman on the LI-19, a three-time NCAA qualifier and sixth in the Big Ten last year for Gunther. Hey, hey that, that, leg, that lead leg is real heavy. Don't let his head underneath you. All right, we'll go to the third period. Green, your choice, Illinois. And he'll choose down. Joey Gunther spent three years at Iowa, transferred to Illinois last year, been a three-time NCAA qualifier. You can see where 174 filled up uh, really big at Iowa with well, Michael Kimmerer, and so uh, Gunther found a place where he could get in and compete at Division I, and Illinois was that place, and he's been a nice addition for the Illini in the room and on the mat. Has the opportunity here now, and Lighty got out really quick. Let's see if Gunther can follow Tops suit. Tops the turn! It's not going real quick. This is a really big grind here for Lighty. He, I mean, he hasn't taken him down, so he's got to work extra hard here. He's got 20 seconds. He's got to get his hands locked. He's, oh, yeah, there's the escape. By Gunther. So we're back on our feet, and something's going to happen here in this next minute 30, or we're going to go to overtime. He's got the palm. He's so, good. Tim, this is advantage Illinois, right? We got the, you know, Dylan Lighty's produced best wrestler, and Gunther, although they want him to open up in general, in this match, this is his goal. Keep it close, try to win in the end. Has the opportunity. This is a time of year, Ken. You have to have the strategy of what's it take to win. You're not out there trying things like you were in the first of the year, getting behind for no reason when you have a strategy to win. This is the right thing from Gunther's standpoint. Put yourself, like you said, in a position to win. It's the right thing for every wrestler at this time of the year. Absolutely. I agree with you, Tim. Points well taken. Absolutely. Early in the year, you're aggressive, trying to get after it. And then later in the year, you're doing the same, but you still got to be smart. You got to be smart. You got to say, how can I beat this guy? And and so it comes down to every individual match and a strategy that you have to be true to. And right now, Gunther putting himself in a position with one great shot, pull the trigger, finish it, and you get the upset. Yeah, Lighty the favorite. He's been in close matches. He knows how to win close matches. This is one of those situations where we may see a double overtime. We may see a triple overtime. This, these guys are not taking risks, uh, neither one of them's committed to a shot and got stuck Get on their knees at all, I don't think. Just a lot of half shots, really. On, Joey, Not even there. a high single. Both these guys need to add a high single. Little so that, that was a decent commitment for short time left, but that's about the biggest commitment he's made so far. We're going to go to sudden victory overtime to put a minute on the clock, and any score working, will win. There are no warnings for stalling, and so a takedown would seal the deal for whoever gets it. And there's a double leg right there, and he gets the two. Dylan Lighty pulls the trigger. He did, finally, the high double. I like it. And gets the win for Purdue and three points on the board. They go back out in front, 12 to 11. Dylan Lighty puts Purdue back on top with this freight train double. The two points in overtime for the win, 12-11.